Hey guys, okay, so I'm sorry for the awful quality and the awful look. <laughs> it's the end of the day, late for me, 8 o'clock, because clearly I'm like an old woman. Um, but I thought I would start a new series called... Now I forget what I was going to call it. Oh my gosh. College Talk. There we go. This is what happens when you go to college. You lose your mind. <laughs> no. Okay, um... Anyways, let me start off by saying I'm sorry I've gone like a week MIA. It's been crazy getting ready for school to start. Today was my first day back, and there's been a ton of stuff happening. So, anyway, so today's college talk is going to be changing majors slash picking a major. So, I'm going to try to not make this long and just kind of get to the point. So, originally, before I even had Carter, I didn't really have any idea what I wanted to do. Um, I wasn't that great of a student. I didn't, I didn't really feel like I had a motivation. So I was thinking maybe nursing. So before I got pregnant with him, I started taking a few courses. And then, um, if you look back at my pregnancy vlogs, uh, you'll see me talk about how sick I was during my pregnancy. So I took that time off. And after having him and going through the pregnancy, I realized that, um, pregnancy, birth, babies, breastfeeding, all of that was a huge passion to me. So I decided I want to become a labor and delivery nurse. So I started on that path. I had to retake a bunch of courses because I just didn't do well in math or science in high school, which for a nurse you need to. And I really improved. And throughout this time, I decided not only did I want to go into that being a labor and delivery nurse, but I eventually wanted to become a certified nurse midwife. So that was really motivating me. I was so excited. I finally felt like I found like my thing, you know, like I finally had a passion and it just felt good because throughout high school, all of my school, really, like I felt like I was like a lost puppy. I had no idea where to go. I had no passion. So, yeah. So I have been spending the past two and a half years at community college, taking courses, taking prerequisites, trying to prepare myself for nursing school, which anyone out there who's doing nursing knows how difficult that that's become. Now, Throughout this time, I did improve on math. I've gotten A's in all of my math courses. I actually have grown to enjoy it. Science, I've grown to enjoy, but it's still a struggle for me. And I had to take A&P two times. And the last time I took it was last semester, fall 2013. And I just realized this wasn't for me. I applied to nursing school. They said that my grades weren't good enough because of my science courses. And I said, as much as this is a passion, I can still make this a passion and do other work, but find a career that suits me and I'm not going to struggle with school because that's not a feeling that's good. So I went to my backup, which has always been psychology. And I really enjoy psychology. I enjoy the classes. I love talking to people. People seem to feel comfortable talking to me. And I've always really excelled in those courses. So I've decided on psychology, and yeah, so that's where I'm at with choosing a major, and so I just wanted to get there, so that's me, that's me, I did end up changing a major, and that's a huge deal, it's a big deal to have your mind focused for two and a half years, or however long on a career, and then realize, you know what, as much as I love it, it might not be the right thing for me, and it was, it was hard. I went through kind of like a mourning period of like, kind of like, well, you know what, this sucks. I feel like I wasted two and a half years and you know, all those thoughts that go through your head. But I actually got some really great news today and I got into, um, for actually this semester, they're going to rush me in so I can start even though classes started today. And I won't be at the community college anymore. I will be at a private college that is about 20 minutes from where I live and I'll be commuting there. So I'm really excited. I got into that program and I got a scholarship with it. So I'm very excited. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my experience. As far as choosing a major, the only advice I can give is just keep at it. First of all, if you don't know what you want to do for school, just take the general stuff because no matter what you do, you have to get general stuff out of the way. And just try different things. You have to figure out what's going to be good for you. Look at things you enjoy and what kind of careers can revolve around what you enjoy, what you're good at. Because that's what's going to make you happy. That's what's going to make school a good experience for you. And who would want to wake up each day to a career that they were like, ugh, well, I don't want to go to that today. That sounds awful. And I'm not saying that every day 
that your job or school will be a delight because that's just not life. Like you have hard days, you have moments, even if you love something where you're like, ugh, I'd just rather stay in bed. <laughs> so yeah, so that's kind of my short little thing on, you know, me choosing my major, the experience, a little bit of the experience I've been through. And I plan to do more of these series. I also wanted things like, things that will be in the series are things like, I'm going to do a what's in my backpack. I'm going to do how I organize my school stuff, uh, study schedules, how I personally study, what I find that works for me. So any other kind of things you guys would like to see, let me know. And if you have any questions, let me know. And like I said, as far as choosing a major, you just need to go with what works for you and not worry about what other people are going to say because they're not the ones who are going to be taking your courses or, um, wow, I zoned off. They aren't going to be the ones taking your courses or doing that career, hopefully for the rest, you know, forever. So, yeah, so that's what I have to say about that, and I hope you guys enjoy this series.